The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. Farming isn't just in the land, it's in you. Take control of weeds like never before. Enlist builds on the Roundup Ready system, combining proven control of a new 2,4-D and glyphosate in Enlist Dual Herbicide. Protect what matters without changing the way you farm. Talk to your seed or crop protection supplier today. You may have identified our Weed of the Week as pigeon grass, but let's get a little more specific. It's giant foxtail. All right, you do need to identify the different foxtail species for certain herbicides that you may use out on your farm and for management in general. Because what we'll see with foxtails is a lot of times the green foxtail may be the first one to pop up in the year. And you'll see some of the other types of foxtail pop up just a little bit later in my experience anyway. That's one reason. The other thing you may consider is if your herbicide that you're going to use is a little better on a green foxtail versus a yellow foxtail or a giant foxtail. Sometimes there's some different rates on products like Puma, for example, in wheat had a different rate depending on which foxtail species you were fighting. Well, basically the green foxtail was the easiest, the yellow foxtail was the most difficult to control. Giant foxtail, we usually would say, is somewhere in the middle. But the whole thing with giant foxtail, when you're trying to identify it, it's got a hairy ligule like the other pigeon grass species, the green foxtail, the yellow foxtail. The difference is, I would call giant foxtail hairy foxtail. There's hair all over this thing, leaf, stem, you name it. So if you see that, you're looking at giant foxtail. The good thing is, giant foxtail, like the other species here, we're talking about green and yellow, it's an annual weed. So if you can stop it from going to seed, well, you're, you're a long ways towards wiping it out on your farm. All right, so let's get real specific in terms of control. For corn, this is where we have the most difficulty with foxtail, and foxtail really robs yield. You've got to have your cornfield clean and free of foxtails, like giant foxtail, at least until the time the corn's a foot tall. So we strongly encourage you, get a pre down, even if it's a reduced rate, but the best things are Surpass, Harness, Outlook and Dual, or even Zidua, or anything that contains those products. Then you can follow post-emerge in conventional corn with accent, just make sure the grass is really small. Otherwise, Roundup and Liberty are very effective too. In soybeans, here's where the yellows come into play. Trefland, Sonland, or Prowl are highly effective on the foxtail species. Post-emerge, you've got Roundup and Liberty in crops where, where those are appropriate. Also, you've got the volunteer corn killers, which many farmers will call them. Things like Select Max, for example, do a nice job on cleaning up foxtail escapes as well. All right, turning to wheat, use Prepare Down, follow with Axial over the top, but Everest 2.0 is pretty effective too. Don't let our Weed of the Week giant foxtail take over on your farm. Start with a good pre-emerge herbicide program and you can wipe out almost 99% of giant foxtail, then clean up any escapes before it goes to seed. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week, but stay tuned, Iron Talk is coming up next. <laughs>